that noise? Oh, hello. Oh, someone's playing the piano. I love pianos. Right, so we've got some oil, some t shut up! Some stuff and stuff. Oh, there we go. Um. Okay, there's, there's nothing in here, that sucks. Well, there was obviously some stuff. Mr. Piano stopped uh, playing as well. Just to put him off when I screamed at him. So we've got local history. Light that up. Nothing there, nothing there. Oh, no swag. So let's see what my memento say. The door leading to the local history is locked. Is there another entrance? Well, I can only assume so, otherwise you wouldn't bloody write it down, would you, Daniel? God. Okay. So there's a nice big room. This is the direction much for a piano. Ah, oh, there's a piano. Oh! Oh! Oh god, I just got shivers. So yeah, I know there's not even an enemy there, but I'm actually not liking it. Ah. I know there's not an enemy there either, but I'm still not liking it. Oh god. Okay, so. God, is that oh, oil? Yay! Um, let's see, so there's some little hole in the wall, a room, I love rooms, let's check what's out, some lovely, ooh, flashback! Much of the castle is what? old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. God, stop scrumpling your bloody paper, it's so loud. Everything will cave in on us, especially downstairs. Here, Is that piano here, again? And there. Sounds like Let's it. get the servants working on it. Boom. Okay. Um, I think I heard the piano. I'm going to light this because it's a bit dark here. Um, so what's this? A hole in the wall. Fragile but not breakable by hand. Apparently he man. Oh! Oh god, that was loud. Um okay, I'll, I'll go check what what's the problem, officer? Oh, the whole thing's collapsed. That's unfortunate, so I must find a new way out of this area. So I'm guessing I'm gonna have to break this wall somehow. I'm gonna have to get some firemen to help me out. Got a nice little hole in the ceiling. Some more maps, some pr Persia, Prussia. I don't know. Um, ooh, yay. Oh, I'm gonna open this door while falling. Oh, no, I want to open this one. No, mouse left, left. Oh. 17th of May, oh. 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. What's that, Daniel? My weakened body was heavy to carry. Oh, but I walk. managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Ooh, look, I'm not even touching the mouse, guys. It was no hands. waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. Nah, man. Walking away from it. <gasps> oh. See, if you, don't, if you don't follow it, you just go lay in this darkness. I don't know what's even in here. Just some nothingness, you know, you can just chill out, doing some stuff there. I'm gonna walk towards it because Daniel wants me to, and I'm a good boy. I listen to Daniel. Walking very, very slow, I don't have any legs. Wow! Ow, that lights. Ow, oh, it's so bright. The faint glow <laughs> escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and in. Possible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the Daniel's mental sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands oh. was the broken pieces of a most. Why is it piano playing again? God. Was that over there? No, it's over there. Yeah. Okay. So we got something and Daniel touched some ball or something. Daniel touched some balls because he's homosexual and stuff. Um, so I think I think this book's probably strong enough to make a hole in the wall. Have you guys ever tried throwing a book against the wall? It makes a massive hole a lot, a lot of the time, I'd say. No. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Right, how about um, this here, this little head? Wah! 
Oh, wow, wow, that was a massive hole for a little head. Should just hit my own head off the wall, that'd be fine. Daniel's pretty much mental anyway, so it doesn't really matter. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Daniel. Some books. I don't want to smash fat open with a book to get a book. I said him screaming. Right, there's some sort of secret mechanism. Cool. I love secret me mechanism. Sorry. Right. In our oh god, it's so long. In our region, rich with law is Altaltate. Yes. Deep within the East Prussian woods, for centuries there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbors, Castle of Brennenberg. No, oh. the, the quiet forest clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes is a picturesque picture as can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear proof of a widespread superstition. All travellers should indulge themselves, themselves in such conversations since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists and tales, their own twists on the tales, but there are some Mof mot motifs that keep reappearing. Okay. What does the down button do? Does this leave? I don't know. Right. Oh god, is this going to be loads of stories? Oh no, it is. Ah, it's, time to, it's time to read some uh, stories about some local folklore. Hope you guys enjoy it. Right, so for Gavros, the story reaches all the way back to a time of the uh, 30 Years' War. It is said that the soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies, wrought by their tainted souls, have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks dragged behind them which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do we follow? What these... I don't know, these have wrote pretty well. Um, for someone who's not a native English speaker listening to me speak, you probably wouldn't be able to understand a word I'm saying, but... Alright, Visit Undone. These are pretty cool stories though, so I'll just say cool story, bro. Henrich Cornelius Agrippa. Ah, Agrippa. He's important later. Um, okay, the well-known ever. I don't need. I don't even know half his words, and I'm English. Okay, visited. I mean, just because of these locations, Altstad. At the start of the 16th century, he resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of, of kingdoms past. During his stay, all the prominent members of a society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day, he went to investigate a borough in the northwestern glades, only to now be seen again. Everyone's just. Do go somewhere and then disappear in or something. Henrich is known to have passed away in Gren Grenoble. Some ten years later, he dismissed the notion of ever visiting Altstadt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods and what happened to him? I don't know, everyone just disappeared. What the hell's going on in this world? Oh, this one's even longer, cool. Uh, by the way, cool story, bro. The mortal baron, the the Baron of Brennenberg lives a reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby, Altstadt. And like most the most those of noble birth, see it just wrote so crazily, man. Rumours are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by the fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from Rhinelands, claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remain popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been uh, secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage. Therefore, the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact the one uh, and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation and joined the coveted order of the Black Edge along with the great leaders of this country. Oh god, I hope I was relevant to some people who are uh, watching this. Because it wasn't relevant to me, I didn't understand a word it just said. Um, I liked the two stories, those were pretty cool stories, but the third one was, wasn't was a very cool story. But anyway, let's see, so, mechanism. Oh yeah, I remember this. Um, so we've got some books, basically. 
to turn on this light as well. It is a bit dark though. I've got to use my lantern. So I've got some books and you have to pull the books into some water. You can see it's a bit brighter than normal, than normal books. So let's see. Where the hell are the rest of the books? No book there. There's a book. Come on. Oh, there we go. And I think it's just one more, is there? Yep. Ooh, oil hello. Still making a noise, just spite it being still, as if by magic. Alright. Oh god. Ah. I know this game too well, man. I know it too well. I know when I'm gonna pick what's key, I'm gonna hear some horrible. M oh god, not more to read, okay. Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenburg. I'm trying to, I'm starting to like, learn what these words actually say and how do you pronounce them. Apart from that off one, I don't, I'll make up across it in this. I need to lock Will, Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. But when Seller will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whoever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I'll feed some, them some wine. It would... Ah. Oh. 